okay, was just asked about kundalini and meat and going from vegan. <laughs> oh, the joy of veganism and how to transition. Um, you know, the, the problem with the joints and everything. Now, what I found is causing all that problem are the things like all the carbs. The carbs are what's causing the problems with the joints. So, yes, and red meat, if kundalini is really raging, you have to have the red meat. Like I tell people, you can start out with fish, doesn't do it. Chicken, doesn't do it. Then you're going to have to go to the hardcore red meat. And that does help to ground things. Um, I went to a carnivore diet, uh, with, which means for a, I've done it for a couple months, um, which is no carbs. I was eating meat and eggs and dairy. Um, some people can do dairy. Other people have a little difficulty with dairy. I'm good with dairy. So, um, yeah, if you're going off a vegan diet, just transition and start eating the heavier things and start letting go of the other stuff. And you'll find out that as you're eating more of the meat and Try to get the grass-fed beef, um, get the good meats if you can, for sure, uh, much healthier. And the chicken, if you eat the eggs, uh, try to get the ones that are um, the pasture raised, okay? You can tell a really good egg if you open it up and it's got a really orange yolk, then you know it's a really good, nutritious egg. So. Keep looking for the brand and you'll find one that has that good orange yolk and then stick with that brand. Um, yeah, so again, if you're getting out of veganism, it's going to take a little while for your body to reassert itself. So many people think, you know, vegetarian, oh, I'm good. And then they think if they go vegan, they're even better. And they may do that for a number of years, and then all of a sudden they start having all these health issues. Um, really bad digestive issues, all sorts of stuff. I know if I eat, um, go back and eat the vegetables and things with carbs, uh, usually they do not work for me. I will get immediately gas in my stomach. It's... Um, and it's painful. It's not not pleasant, okay? So for me, it works better to do really the carnivore diet. If I get really hungry for my body's telling me I want some fruit or something, I'll have a little bit of fruit. I'm not, you know, diehard say that's all you can have, okay? Everybody's body is different, and at different times you may need to add a few things. Now, as you hear, <laughs> the last few days, I've been on the fry bread binge, okay? <laughs> Usually, I am not doing the carbs and the, the wheat and all of that stuff doesn't really work for me too well. But you know what? Every once in a while, you have a treat and you do something different. So this is my treat time. I'm going a little crazy. Um, but yeah. Uh, since I've been going on the carnivore diet with the um, and staying away from the carbs and the wheat and all of that stuff, I had really bad trigger finger. I had, uh, you know, was getting a lot of cramps in my legs, and I found out immediately that's from sugar. I have been off the regular sugar for a few months now. And the other day I decided I'm going to have something with sugar in it. And man, did I pay the price. About an hour later, my legs cramped up and my feet cramped up like you can't believe. So I know absolutely that's white sugar. I cannot do it. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I have to say about the uh, kundalini and going from vegan 
And if you have a, an awakening, you're going to find you really, really need to have the meat. Um, yeah. And the more rare, the better. Okay. The meat, the more rare the, is better for it too. But again, like I said, get the really good grass fed beef. Uh, and you'll find out, you know, what's amazing is on the carnivore diet, when you're just eating meats and cheeses, dairy, your trip to the grocery store is so quick and it winds up being cheaper than when you were eating all the vegetables and the fruits and all these other stuff. And then you get the crackers, you get all the other things, you know, that wind up uh, really expanding your bill. You'll be surprised how much your food bill goes down and how long it lasts. Um, pretty, pretty amazing. Oh, when you're doing that diet to the carnivore, make sure you eat like the, um, the good butter, grass fed butter, stay away from the, um, oils like the soybean oil and the corn oil and all of that. Stay away from those too. Either use like lard or, or the, like I, what I use is butter. Um, I usually buy the Irish butters. Uh, those work really well for me, so that's what I cook with all the time is a little butter. So I'm going to leave this here. Thank you for your question. And, <laughs> you know, just stick with your journey one step at a time. And, yes, when you get that heat and you feel like you're going to spontaneously combust, it can get that hot. Um, don't worry, you're not going to spontaneously combust. Just start taking in more meat. Leave the carbs away, you know, leave too much of the, the fruits, too much of the sugars and the carbs. Restrict those and do more of a meat-based diet and things will be much better for you and rectify much quicker. There's a reason why, and you know, it's amazing that Indians don't get this. I'm not talking about American Indians. I'm talking about India, India. <laughs> people from India that live there don't understand Kali. Okay, they don't understand, you know, oh, they still have the goat sacrifices. Well, there's a reason for it because Kali is Kundalini. The Chandipat is telling you the path of kundalini, how it goes through the subconscious, how it roots out all of these things, okay? There's a reason for it. And why she's dark, because you have to um, transition through and confront all of your fears and everything you thought you held to be true is going to be confronted in some way, shape, or form, okay? So once you get that, and you get that Kali is not this demonic, hungry thing, you know, that she is out, you know, this, this energy is out for your welfare and your well-being. And what it fights is ego and all the little ego demons that go along with it. Uh, then you'll get along much better and much easier on the path, okay? So thank you for your question. Let me know if you have any other questions. And I'll see you online. Aho.